if you're a fan of classic gaming, you will really want to use emulators on Linux to really have access to a huge library of games that you can play. And in Arch Linux, one of the best, well, in Linux in general, one of the best emulators that's kind of like a conglomerate of many emulators is called uh, RetroArch. So the way to uh, install it is by just running a sudo pacman s retro arch right. seems I misspelled that okay so once it installs um, which I'm gonna exit out because I have it already um, let's go over here we can run it and when you run it gives you all these errors and it looks kind of bad right but um, we'll fix that right now and the method that I'll show to install this is is mm, I don't know if you could say not the recommended way but it's the simplest way for me but the issue is that it will only work for for one user uh, it won't be like a global thing but uh, you it's easy to do it the other method but this is just the method that I like so let's go back here to our terminals and then let's clear this out so um, we have to edit the configuration file in the retro arch uh, directory so let's do a nano okay. so we just have to edit five lines and let's do that uh, wait, we don't need to search this one actually because it's right down here so rather than putting it at the global level we're going to put it at the local level just for our specific user and do that like this uh, so that's, all right so that's the first line the next line is um, for the cores so that when we update we can see the uh, the cores okay so let's set that to true all right now the next line is um, for the directory where the cores actually will live line will be for the information about the downloaded cores info. All right, and the final line is for the menu of the core updater set this to true also now let me just go back I want to check and see the first one just really quickly okay so that should be good so just control X to save. Now let's go to Retro Arch. Now I think if we save it, it's going to um, it'll mess with our configuration. I think it'll reset it. So let us uh, do this right now. So, that really quickly uh, put back here then move this back like this uh, let's just see if the change is stuck yeah it looks like they're still there uh, let's check one more
so everything's good. Alright, so let's go back and start recharge. Okay, so now that we're in here, we can start actually loading everything that we want. So first we're going to get the GUI elements, um, which are the assets here. Shouldn't take too long. All right, now we see that everything kind of got pretty again. Um, there are a few options for the GUI, like greater changes, and I'm going to show you the one that I kind of prefer to use. So let me go into here. So to change that, you go into Drivers, and you select Menu. Uh, and I prefer the XMB, so it's kind of like the PlayStation. Um, so it's just uh, I'll quit here. Let's start it again. So this is how the final thing looks and there are so many settings to change but anyhow uh, so now if we want to download like cores which are the actual um, emulator cores that run the games uh, so it, you can think of it as being like the block that you know that plays a specific set of games like DS you know SNES NES whatever so they're all here Dolphin um, so if you want to download one let's see um, I mean, this laptop isn't particularly so strong, so let's just do. Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. It's a hard choice. Uh, PCSX, yeah. I'm not too sure how good this one is, but anyway. So we can even load the core. So you see, this is our core here. So it's ready to, to load a game, basically, in this state. Um, and you can keep on installing and even add libraries of games here but that's pretty much it this is how you install uh, RetroArch uh, this is a method that I prefer and right now if I were to switch you know accounts um, it, it wouldn't follow these settings because these are local settings but these are the settings that I like because um, you don't have to go through the command line to install a bunch of uh, cores you can just go straight through that core update uh, menu right here you can get everything here and this is how I prefer to have it but you know the other one is a more convenient method of doing it and probably it may be a little bit more stable but I'm not too sure uh, so that's about it I hope you found this useful